Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm checking out the ISDT SC620 500 watt smart charger. Now I have seen a lot of people using these and giving them really good reviews so here is my take on it. Now the first thing that people mention is the size. Now it is really small and another thing that people like about this charger is that it charges high voltage batteries or HV batteries. Now, personally, I don't use any of those, but I can see why you would want this charger to charge those batteries up. The thing is, though, I do have a few issues with this charger. The first one is, yes, it's small. However, it doesn't have a built-in power supply. Now, a lot of chargers don't. But I'm lazy and I like my chargers to have a built-in power supply. So what you have to do is you have this connector on the back here. And this is the only way that you can power this thing up using an XT60. And of course the majority of power supplies do not have an XT60 connector on it. So you have to make up your own connector. And that is the other problem with this charger. Is it doesn't come with anything else other than this. This is all you get. You don't get any connectors or anything like that. No power supply, it's just the charger. So, for me personally, unless I want to go and make up a load of leads, the only thing that I'm going to be able to use this charger for is sticking a huge battery in here and then using that to charge my other batteries in the field. So that is what I'm going to be using this for. And my daily charger is this, which is the IMAX B6 AC V2. And people go on about how small this thing is, but if you just compare it to this, it's almost the same size, just a little bit smaller. But this one has a built-in power supply. So all I have to do is plug the connector in here, and it's ready to go. So this one has all of the different balance ports on the side there and this is where you plug in your main battery and you're given all sorts of different connectors with this. Now the problem with this is it's limited to charging at about 3.2 amps. Now this one will charge at 20 amps. However, in order to do that you need to make sure that your power supply going in here can support that. So it's a 500 watt smart charger. However, to take advantage of that, you're going to need a 500 watt or bigger power supply, which is going to be huge. So I don't have one of those, and I like my chargers to be small and compact, which this is, but it's not when you attach a big power supply to it. So I don't think it's going to be replacing my daily charge. In fact, I use two of these and they are small and compact as well. But I do still think there is a use for this in my life. Now, I'm not going to get 20 amps out of it, but I don't need 20 amps. You see, the majority of batteries that I'm charging these days are these 4S mini quad batteries. And if you charge this at 20 amps, then it's definitely going to puff up really quickly. Of course, the only thing that you would need to charge at 20 amps would be something that is 20,000 milliamps, you know? So, I don't have big batteries like that. The only battery that I have is this 10,000 milliamp multi-star battery. It's a 4S that I bought for one of my bigger quadcopters. And so what I think personally I'm going to use this charger for is plugging this into it like charging this up with one of these and then plugging it into here and then taking a few of these batteries and then if I'm ever out at a location and need to charge stuff then I will use it in this configuration so this charger here it does have a place to put your balance connector so it supports two to six cells so this one has just given you the one option there, whereas the B6 ACV2 gives you all of these different options. I guess that doesn't really matter because the battery will only go in here one way. And that is like that. And then, of course, you plug in 
your battery here and then that just goes in there like that so what we have next is this menu now I do really like the menu it's also got a built-in fan as well that sort of boots up when it starts and then I guess if it gets hot it cools itself down I do really like the menu on this so you can see there that it tells us what amps it's charging at it's also got all of our individual voltages for this battery here and we just have two controls there's this scroller here so you can scroll up and down and then there's a button that you press in as well so if I just scroll down here you can also see the input voltage which is 15.4 volts this isn't a fully charged battery also struggling with the camera here to show the actual display here however that is just because the exposure is set too high on the camera so let me go ahead and adjust that so hopefully you can see that a little bit better so we have the individual cell voltages there and then if I scroll down you can see the input voltage and we also have the battery voltage of the LiPo here as well so if I press this dial in here we can go up to tasks and set it to charge, discharge or storage charge now I can see the screen flickering here it doesn't do that in person that's just the artifact of the camera recording it there so yep charge, discharge and storage charge so if we select charge go down to battery we can select HV batteries so that's a good thing and it's the reason why people are liking this charger so much but I don't have any of those personally so I want a LiPo for this one which the maximum volt for each cell is 4.2 volts and for a HV battery it's 4.35 of course you've got Lion, Lifey, Nikad etc so I want LiPo for this battery then the number of cells you could do 1 to 4 cell sorry 1 to 6 cell but I need 4 cell for this battery so press enter there current this is a 1300 4S so to charge it at 1C you want 1.3 amps so that's what I charge at anyway no need to charge it at crazy amps anyways it's not something that I do it can ruin your batteries and then the last one is start so I'm pressing that in and you can see there the amps that it's charging at and then the milliamps that it has transferred over we have got a timer at the top there and also a percentage bar of what the battery is currently at it's a really nice charger and I will be using it in this format but I'm not going to be connecting a power supply up to it because that defies the object of it being a small compact device I may make up a lead where I connect this to a car charger or something but yeah I'm not going to be changing from the IMAX charger anytime soon as my daily charger. Now let's just stop that a second. Because there is a couple of other things on the side here. We have a USB port for updating the firmware and also a PC link as well. So you can monitor this through a app on the computer again I don't think I'm going to be doing that though you can do that on the B6 as well and I find myself never doing that really so there you go that is my review of the ISDT SC62500 watt smart charger I'll put a link in the description if you wish to get one as always thanks so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers